the story of the relationship between the king of rock and roll and his evil genius manager, Colonel Tom Parker. The title role went to an actor who bounced around several Disney Channel shows, now 30-year-old Austin Butler. The Colonel Tom role handled by two-time Oscar winner, friend of the morning show, Tom Hanks. In Memphis at Graceland last week, Tom compared his own fame and notoriety to what Elvis must have gone through with adoring fans. You are one of the most recognizable people on the planet. How, uh, d does that give you a perspective in to what Elvis must have gone through? I think, uh, abs well, I would like to say yes, because, you know, I understand, you know, the at the end of the day, celebrity is not really good for the human psyche. You know, that type of white hot spotlight of attention is fun and exciting for a while. And then after, you know, if you're if you're enough of a conscientious human being with a bigger life than just what you do for a living, you can come around and understand like at the end of the day it's kind of a racket. I think there are times when almost anybody in the public eye has to come around and say, man, I wish I could just be myself. Power, look, did he have any anonymity? No, he never had a moment of anonymity. But did that mean that he got to rent out a movie theater by himself and just see it with his pals? Yeah, it did. But that's not necessarily as fun as going to, you know, putting on a hat and going in and seeing a movie with a bunch of strangers and, and, and coming out with that in common. Have you done that? Put oh, yeah, I do it all the time. Yeah, sneak in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, you know, look, I'm a celebrity emeritus now. I've been in, every, <laughs> I've been in everybody's <laughs> vid, vid, uh, living yeah. room since they invented the VHS tape. We'll have more with Tom later on. And next hour, Austin Butler, who plays Elvis in the movie. It opens tomorrow. I'll have my full review for you then.